Hi, my favorite people. Welcome to the world of real who did I make up. It's perfect time to create fall makeup look that will be still juicy and vibrant as I'm still in the summer mode. And based on Pantone's color trend report for fall winter 23-24, this is a perfect color choice. I'll be also explaining and showing you why first it's better to apply individual lashes and then gel eyeliner. From now, as many of you requested, I'll be doing my full face makeup and I start from favorite serum Great Skin by Merit. I checked ingredients, it's so clean, so I highly recommend it. Skin Tint by La Mer, thanks to my lovely friend for such a gift. I like to use brush and then the perfect duo to define your cheekbones is the BK brush and the bronzing stick by Merit. Just make sure to evenly distribute over the entire surface of the brush. Apply to the high points of the face. Complexion stick by Merit. Don't afraid of the small size. It will last you long and it's another must-have by Merit. Including with this face brush. Then set creamy textures with powder of the same shade. And this is another one favorite brush by Sigma. I also like to apply cream bronzer on my negative space and nothing on my eyelids. It blends so nicely and enhances my eye color. Got hooked on this color changing bio blush by Youthphoria. Blending everything with a setting powder brush by Sigma because it's perfect for my cheeks as well. As always, softening the edges with leftovers from foundation brush. And if you're following me for a while, you know that I like creamy waterproof products for my eyes and always in search for good ones. So I've tried this shadow stick by e.l.f. and it worked amazing. Blends easy, nice color payoff and the most important, behaved well on my eyelids. I love this BK brush that mimics your fingertip but with more precision. And then set with medium matte bronzer by Sigma and setting powder. In this case, it doesn't matter. It can be loose, or translucing powder, more important is to do it with clean blender brush. This jumbo pencil by NYX, it doesn't work for eyelids, but it does pretty good job on areas that doesn't move, like negative space and inner corners. Could be used on the waterline, but don't expect long-lasting results. This one is also by NYX, um, and especially for its price, actually I like it, and I decided to go on top. I wanted to add more colors and set it with Norvina by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And smudging brush by Morphe. Then I mixed like these two warm shades, used clean tapered blender brush, look straight, and extend it towards the temples. Kind reminder, don't afraid to overdo it, as you will soften the edges in the end and half of it will be gone. So you can leave it like this matte, but <laughs> I can't. If you already know me, I can't without all that sparkles, shimmers. So I'm gonna do it. I'm using shimmer from the same eyeshadow palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Then I like to enhance my inner corners and dress up my epicanthic folds. <laughs> I'm um, doing this with NYX, blending with pencil brush by Sigma, connecting with e.l.f. eyeshadow stick. Look at that gorgeous performance. Good job, e.l.f. Blending with short shader that has leftovers from that yellow eyeshadows from Norvina, and I like the way it works together. Uh, sorry, somehow I didn't record how I've applied mascara, but this is clean mascara by Merit and it's amazing. Look at that lashes, it's gorgeous. And if you don't want to deal with individual lashes, unfortunately, and you're happy the way it looks with mascara, then congrats, your eye makeup is ready. Now let me show you my favorite long lasting lip combo. I'm a huge fan of Maybelline Superstay Ink for many years, and I know that some people misunderstood this lipstick, but actually this baby just needs a certain technique because it's very pigmented and pretty thick, I recommend to apply just a bit and then carefully distribute like this with fingertips. And actually I like to use a small brush because I like to contour my lips with the same product as it's very long lasting and it's it's just I, I love it, absolutely love it. And oh my god, I was so excited when they launched Vinyl Superstay Ink that is more hydrating and still stays. Thank you so much Maybelline. And by the way, Maybelline would be very fair to make me ambassador because I always stand for this lipstick. I always teach my clients how to use it. And you know how many clients bought it actually after I used it on them? Oh, I'm telling you. Setting my face with translucent powder and look at that brush by Sigma, amazing. So now let me show you something. So this is how it looks without individual lashes. And I'm talking about cat eyeliner as it's the most desired. And if you haven't seen this video, here's sweet and short explanation. If you have extremely hooded eyes like me, this is the easiest and quickest winged eyeliner technique. The only one condition is that it will not look right without false lashes that should go before eyeliner. Lashes are what makes hooded eyes appear lifted bigger and fuller. Lashes fill out the gap between the highest point of the crease and the outer corner. This gap is what makes hooded eyes look sleepy and droopy, but lashes give the effect of fullness in that area. Whereas skipping individual lashes and applying dark eyeshadows can make the eyes look older and heavier 
especially when paired just with eyeliner. Hope this helps. Love you. Okay, on this note, I'm going to apply a few lash clusters. And please don't mind my nails. I applied nail polish. And of course, I haven't patience. I was rushing and ruined all my manicure, but needed to start recording immediately. And here's a little bit of backstage. And just remember that if something doesn't work, that just doesn't work that moment. Try again and it's gonna work. Regular brow tweezer is your best friend when applying individual or lash clusters. So let's look at the difference. That eye with lashes obviously looks bigger, but still pretty natural, you know, not like overdone. And I like to clean again the edges with clean brush and setting powder. Let's take a look one more time. And now let me show you how to create the easiest and quickest wing ever. Look straight. Make sure that last hair of the lash is placed correctly so that it can lift your eyes. Then follow that last lash and extend it. Mm, is the sounds okay? I mean, I hope it makes sense. So now just connect and then if your lashes went a little bit down, just uh, help like this with brush and make them set back. Pretty much that's it. <laughs> it took, I think, maybe two minutes, maybe less. But the difference is huge. Unbelievable. What lashes does to your eyes. So let me show you again the process. Deep in the glue, then put it right on the lash line. And when cluster gives you like this attitude, just set it like this with tweezer. Now I'll do my best to make that wings look like sisters, even twins because so far they look like cousins just because I was showing you two different techniques. And of course, of course, nowhere without flat eyeliner. If you've been watching my videos before, you know how important is this step and how satisfying is this process. To make it look cohesive, I want to add their gel eyeliner as well. I like to use brown gel eyeliner. This one is by Maybelline. I'm also going to enhance a little bit lash line and uh, waterline as well. Just a, just a bit, not too intense. And that's it. Makeup is ready. I am very happy with results. I wish I also uh, touch up my eyebrows, but it's okay. Probably I haven't seen that moment because when I'm recording, I don't know, it's a little bit different. <laughs> Sometimes I'm missing some details that I really I'm not seeing in that moment. And then I'm rewatching video. And I'm like, oh gosh, where were your eyes? Seriously. <laughs> but I think it looks cute. I like the way it enhanced my eyes. And what I really like about this color story is that it will complement any eye color. So have fun with it. I wish you happy, happy fall. And thank you so much for watching. Because if you're still watching, oh my gosh, you are awesome. Thank you. Please subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. And love you.